shops up ahead. I'm not particularly hungry. We did get breakfast on the plane. But Mano has a few euros that are probably burning a hole in her pocket. Here we are by our gate area. Some lovely baked goods there for songs, wraps, pretzels. And the prices are very reasonable yeah. also, not expensive at all. Mm -hmm. Nice to see that. I think we're gonna have a quick cup of coffee here and maybe a German pretzel. So what do you organize for yourself? I organize for myself. Just a moment, I'm just trying to get the deal right so I can tell you how much I pay. Coffee here. And deep in the bag is a pretzel. Don't the gun, I tell you. Here is my butter pretzel. Let's have a look at Maro first and then we look at her butter pretzel. It's a little bit dark, so we can hardly see you, so maybe because you can put the, it down. Because on the way here we had the German sausages, so I think this is must now on the way back home. And then I had latte macchiato. A latte macchiato? Which I could have had at home, but I couldn't help. I couldn't wait. You just needed one of those now. Six euros thirty. Not too bad for a big no. coffee like that no. and, and the pretzel. Look at the size of the coffee. Look at that pretzel there. Mara went to buy hers because we only have two hands. So I look after the luggage and then it's my turn to go and buy mine. After. I give you five euros, you can find something for yourself. Buy myself something lacking, as we say in South Africa. That was a joke. I wonder if that was a joke. I have 75 left. She's the money master. Good coffee? Oh, let's taste the pretzel. Oh, you better taste the pretzel. Mm. Is that good? Mm. I've never tasted one like that before. Oh, nummy, nummy. It really is butter all over. This is butter. Is butter? Mm. Mm. Oh, get a close up. And they cut it in half and then they put butter there. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have a little taste of that. Mm. See if I want that or not. Oh my goodness. That is really tasty. Is it that good? Mm. It is. Let me have a taste. Mm. Can I have a big bite of it? No. That's is that butter? That is butter, yeah, yes. It is. Let me it's taste. Very tasty. Mm. I really like it. Well, I think that's a little bit boring. Boring? It looks nice. It looks very nice, but I find it a little bit boring. Maybe you are boring. I'll find something else. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Somebody splashed out. <laughs> I was splashed out a little bit. Came to 8 euros 90. I bought these Schenken something or others. Mm -hmm. The one's called Schenken something. And the other one's called Schenken something else. And what did you buy to drink? I bought an Americano coffee. Pull the lid off. You see that? Just put some milk in that too. I must have very reasonable prices here in Frankfurt Airport. So let me taste that. Taste these and take a bite of them both very quickly because we're sharing a table with somebody else and I don't really want to eat this in front of everybody else. Mm. It's very good. Not as boring as Mara's pretzel. <laughs> My pretzel is awesome. Mm. I like that. Because I bought it. <laughs> and then this Schenken guy. Look at that. Is it a poppy seed? So what is it? I think it is. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna have a little bite of that too. Is that well, we gotta, I hope we're gonna share this because I can't yeah. eat it all myself. Ritzel is my mine. That's all yours. Mmm. <laughs> They're very good. Okay, okay. Mm. Let's enjoy. So what do you think? Mm. Were mine better than yours? Mine is better. That one I didn't like so much, this one I like more. That one's very good. There's a miserable pretzel over there. That is so tasty. Mm. Right, okay. Now we just have to wait for it to be announced whether this is officially our gate. While we're waiting at the gate, we can just have a look out at the apron. It's like a big Airbus A330 over there. Look at the Airbus A330. The gate has been confirmed that it's B12 for Copenhagen. Time for another quick look outside. It's just Boeing 747 on the right.
So it looks like it's a apron body. <coughs> oh, is it a bus? Oh, okay. Will be driven after the aircraft. Hey, go to the front. Go to the front of the. Yeah. There's a seat there we can sit on. Luckily, we can get a nice view then. So this could be a good view. We're right at the front of the bus, and there somebody comes and stands in front of us. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Was it 14? Well, just find the wing and that's our spot. As you can see, it's I like that fabric. Are you sure it's 14 E and F, huh? Yep. And here they are. <laughs> Seems to be quite a good view from the window. Also, a takeoff view. Look at the engine right here, also. The wing view is not bad either. And here we are on our last flight, this time to Copenhagen from Frankfurt. It's been a good trip. Very good. So now we just film this finish to an arrival at the airport, airport video. And then it's home sweet home for a shower and we get to sleep in our own bed today. Thumbs up for that. ground let's have a look at this table tray not that we're going to be eating much there's nothing for free on SES short haul flights everything costs but there are two cup holders and the tray is a sliding tray mm. works well today's plane is a Airbus A320 here's the safety card for it Very short and sweet. Like the magazine holder on the seat in front. Very practical, just for magazines. And down here you have the net for everything else. Leg room's not bad. If I sit back in my seat, there is space between the seat and my knees. Unless, of course, the person in front decides to put their seat down then I'm in trouble with my leg room. Maro's just fine. Happy feet, happy feet. 
happy feet and she's got a little gift pack here next to her and she's also just skimming through the Scandinavian Traveller magazine no relation to our channel of course so I'll skim it through quickly so people can see what there is in the magazine it's the Scandinavian Airlines in-flight magazine quick Amaro when you watch the flight reviews how quickly I normally do it she's almost there now and we end off that was the Scandinavian Traveller magazine short haul or long haul there's always a duty free magazine the airlines wouldn't miss out on that not sure if anybody actually buys anything a long time to see anybody buying anything if you're one of the people who buy something please let us know in the comments and let us know what kind of things you buy in the air and do they always deliver or do you have to pick it up in the airport let us know down in the comments well that's SAS the store and as SAS doesn't give anything on the short haul flight you have to buy everything just have a quick look at the prices on this flight I'm not seeing the prices myself I'm just filming them so just pause the video if you want to look closer at the price it was European Charter and these are prices for or information for intercontinental flights below the go menu and then lastly we'll end with this beautiful blue shaded bath bag or commonly called the air sickness bag we filmed many of these Maro's used two of them on some previous flights one of the flights from Bangkok on board an Austrian Airlines flight to Vienna maybe Maro will tell the story herself just not today it's rather hot in here so I just got Maro to turn the fan on above us we do have personal fan a personal reading light and there's a cabin crew button to call a cabin crew member there's one Lufthansa getting a pushback as you can see there's a lot of carrying baggage but you're welcome to use the space under the seat in front of you to store your bags there we have a little treat one of the Lufthansa aircraft with the old Lufthansa retro library livery it's quite charming the old deliveries on the aircraft goes a little TUI Boeing 737 with oh, <laughs> what are they called sables sabers I can't remember well it's time to check the time on the trusty pulsar and that's telling me that the time is 9.30 approximately which means we're supposed to be in the air or taking off right now so we're a little bit delayed it seems what does the trusty scan say? if you slip it up here next to my arm we've bought the trusty scan in the Inish Design Watch which almost matches the Pulsar and says or confirms that we're a little bit delayed for the takeoff not much. Okay, oh, we're almost on our way. Just gonna see a safety demo and off we go. There goes a little lot embryo. We have a Air Europa coming in. Parking position. Sky team member. We're Boeing 737-800. Not quite sure why we delayed and what we're waiting for. The cockpit door is still open, but we'll enjoy the view in the meantime. There we have uh, British Airways Boeing 767. If I'm not totally mistaken. And just behind us here we have a big 
Emirates it was A380 being pulled off to its gate. It's one big aircraft. Cabin crew, I'm Bruce, question, And the pushback has begun. Looks like it'll be a good view for takeoff today. Once again, welcome aboard Scandinavian Airlines and Star Alliance. 
sounded like Four coffee and tea are served free of charge. I believe Mano is having a knockout over there. It always works, it always gets her awake again. Fortunately, there's no map system on board, there's no screen showing where we are. It's always nice to know where we are. Wish they would have that on here also, so we could show you the route. So I would expect that we already begun our downward descent. This is after all only a one hour and five minute flight. It's 20 past 10 already. Here's a good piece of news. It seems that SAS now serves a complimentary cup of coffee. Thumbs up to that SAS. I don't recall them doing that on the other flights we've been on. Maybe people have been asking for that service, but uh, it's very good, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, because we didn't get anything when we were in the No. Controls. Now we need this SAS to work on the little complimentary snack that Lufthansa gives, which is actually a co chair partner. And in theory, we're actually flying Lufthansa now, where we actually get an alcoholic beverage for free if it was a Lufthansa plane. So hopefully, the airlines will start moving back in the old fashioned direction. Those who want to fly budget airlines can fly budget airlines. Those of us who want to fly economy class, let us fly economy class with a little bit of the perks. Right. See, we got a wingman down there. Let me see if I can zoom in and catch him. He's right next to us. There he goes. Can't see what the airline is. If anybody can see which airline that is, please write it in the comments down below. I really like the fabric on the SAS seats. And as many of you probably know, I prefer the fabric seats. Mano enjoys the leather seats. What are your favorite kind of seats? Leather or fabric? Then welcome to this little tour of the Airbus A320 toilets on the SAS aircraft. I'm going to film this on the mobile phone. I didn't bring the other camera, it was a little bit too bulky. Let's just look at what this looks like. A whole lot of serviettes, wipe your hands off, you wash your hands. Toilet paper seat cover or toilet uh, seat cover, very hygienic and very useful. A couple of handles in case there's turbulence. And over here we have the lock for the door. Locking the door automatically turns the light on. And over here for your coat, a coat hanger. Remember, there's no smoking allowed in these toilets, even though there is an ashtray. Before, just to have a look at the space in here, not very much. So, I will see you. I get back to my seat. We are probably almost getting close to Copenhagen now. We'll begin our final approach. So I suppose the next bit of filming I'll do will be during the approach. Unless, of course, Maro has something she will want to tell us along the way. Hopefully our luggage is made all the way to Copenhagen. Yes. As we always say, the luggage is always a concern. Up until now, we've always been very lucky. We've never lost our luggage. And we hope, cross fingers for, it doesn't happen today. We are clearly descending now. We are within the cloud. Seatbelt signs should be going on soon also. The sun is just a little ball out there. Above us, and the time is now approximately 10 to 11 in the morning, so we should be landing very, very soon. Channel weather reporting from Copenhagen with a temperature of 4 degrees and uh, east of the wind. So if you return tonight, we should let the day. Well, we're going to be in Schopenhauer, and we're landing on Melanti and so on. We're going to be at the Cotonel Stack. That's the best time. Oh, great compartment. Raise your seat back at the table. Uh, seat belt sign is now on. So now we've popped out of the clouds again and are uh, beginning our final approach.
months. Oh, I have Reclaim. It's cool in Copenhagen, it's not quite Bangkok. <laughs> now this has aircraft outside next to us. And this should be a pretty straightforward walk to the baggage reclaim as we're coming from an EU country. And Denmark is of course an EU country also. So Maro's leaving the way. Down and left. 